Guys, welcome back to They Did What, your source for the internet's craziest stories. For today, I'm going to go over a story titled, Why Flirted with Strangers Online? Did I Go Too Far to Find Out More? And guys, this particular story is about a guy who's been married to his wife for a number of years, looks like 14 years, and he and his wife are in their late 30s. And to no surprise, the stereotype of today is his wife is always on her phone. And over time, he noticed that she was posting a lot of pictures on social media. Obviously, a lot of risque pictures to get a lot of male attention. And he started noticing quite often that she's talking to other guys, flirting and carrying on and all that. And the thing is, guys, is that you're going to see here that in his story, that every once in a while, he'd confront her about it. But that'd be that, and she'd go right back to doing it, never laying down the law. And in my opinion... For you relationship type of people out there, this is cheating. Okay, if she constantly has to post pictures of herself online to get male attention and talk to anybody else, that's cheating. But this guy just lets this thing go on and on and on without ever really laying down the law saying, hey, you cut this crap or I'm out of here. We're getting divorced. And this is what you get. And I'm going to go into this, guys, and you're going to see here what he does to finally, it's very interesting. He does literally an undercover project to, to pose as one of these guys, and you're going to see how this thing pans out. And there's lots of lessons in this story, guys, which I will point out along the way. Very important things to learn for life here. So jumping right into it. And those lessons I'll point out along the way as well as the end of the story. He says, my, he says, my wife of 14 years, and he says here we're both 38 years old, has had her nose buried in her phone constantly. As she's self-employed, I'd come to accept this as necessary, but on three occasions in the past 18 months, I've stumbled upon inappropriate flirting with strangers uh, via Instagram in a shared device. Three times in 18 months he's caught her, and this is the amount of times he's actually caught her. How many other times were things going on? The first time he caught her doing this, that should have been it. At, be- at best... If, she, if, if he was being nice, he'd lay down the law and say, hey, we're married. You shouldn't be talking to other men. If you got to post things online to get attention and validation, ding, ding, ding about that, which I'll come back to, and you got to talk to other guys, that's cheating. So either you're going to cut this crap out right now or we're done. End of story. But he obviously doesn't, or at least he doesn't do it in a way that she takes him seriously, and this bullshit continues on. In my opinion, if anybody has to go online and talk to other people to get attention and they're in, a, they're in a committed relationship or marriage, then that's cheating. End of story. And it goes both ways, both men and women. He says, um, each, time that she, each time I confront her, she's been shifty and in denial. Translation, she's lying. Trust has been eroded very badly, and I reluctantly took up checking up on said device. She's now routinely deleting chats and clearing notifications, which we haven't discussed. So what the hell are you still doing with her? She's cheating on you, okay? And I guarantee it isn't just conversations. I I have a very hard time believing that it's just left at conversations that more isn't going on. And if more isn't going on as of yet, more is going to go on in the future, mark my words. It's it's only a matter of time because just the talking will get boring and and go and and continue. It has to escalate. He says... uh, Her content online seems to court male attention. Lots of selfies and sometimes suggestive posts. I try not to dictate. It's her life, etc. But every now and again, I burst and we argue. She apologizes. Soon, we're right back where we were. Of course, it's trying to uh, court male attention. And right here, lots of selfies and sometimes suggestive posts. This is how things usually work. These women get to be in their 30s. And obviously, they're getting older. And they want to still think that they're beautiful. And they want to be noticed. And they'll post things on social media. And it is amazing to me, here in today's world, just how many women nowadays, particularly married women, mothers that have kids, little kids, post very uh, explosive pictures, risque photos of them online, Instagram to get attention. Okay. I mean, it's only a matter of time before your kids are going to notice this or their friends are going to notice this. And yet they don't care. And it starts off, you got to be careful. It's one thing to have Instagram and social media, in my opinion here, of just, you know, pictures of the family, the pets going on vacation, that type of thing. Right. It's another thing where it's all of a sudden selfies. And usually it starts off conservative, just selfies. And then those selfies start to become more like more uh, exposing of body parts at the gym, 
at, at, at the beach, things like that. The next thing you know, it's bikini pictures. Next thing you know, it's very revealing bikini pictures. And it just goes on and on, on. And as more attention comes in, it's like a drug. And then, um, then videos and so forth. And a lot of these gals, if they're above average looks, they often go into the thing called OnlyFans, that site that people pay for, to look at uh, all sorts of pictures and videos of guys. So it doesn't just stop there. It's just it's just on on on. So if you're this guy's wife is hooked on Instagram and posting these pictures, he should have laid down the law immediately. Because again, this is his wife, and he has every right here. He says her, you know, I, don't, I, I try not to dictate. Well, let's look what happens when you don't dictate. And obviously, she's checked out of the marriage. Okay, if she was happy in the marriage, she wouldn't be doing this stuff. I gotta point these things out here. He says, but lack of trust is a poison, and I had a hunch the issue hadn't gone away. Yeah, when there's no trust in a relationship, it's it's done. It's over, okay? So I decided to set up a generic fake, fake Instagram account uh, perpetu- purporting to be a fictional local male and started suddenly making contact in a sleazy and a semi-sleazy way that most happily married women would simply ignore. This sounds a lot like the Pina Colada song, you know, where the guy, put, he finds an ad in the newspaper and then he responds to it, and, and he meets the gal. It turns out it's his wife. They're both unhappy. But this is, it sounds like the Pina Colada song, but this actually, unfortunately, is not that way. But very clever. A little, little uh, detective work here. He says, she fairly quickly made contact with me, mildly flirty messages on the back of a fake interest, and after a while, to my horror, suggested that we chat to chat, move to WhatsApp, obviously avoiding the shared device Instagram problem. So... He just set up the fake account. She's responding, and hey, let's go. T- ch- let's go chat by WhatsApp because she knows that's the one uh, area that her husband, this guy, doesn't check out. I mean, very, very sneaky. He says, "I'm feeling sick at this point as having to set up a fake WhatsApp profile too." He says, "I know I'm in deep." She spends an entire day, even when in my company, and even when it's in, when in bed besides me, messaging the semi sleazy fake male and courting further advances. So she's talking to, imagine this scene. She's there yapping on her phone, pretending to like be doing work, and she's talking to her husband, but she doesn't know it's her husband, and he's on the other phone talking to her, and they have this whole secret conversation, and she has no idea what's going on. And some people might say, oh, you know, women know these things. No, actually, she doesn't, right? Holy crap. When I saw this, I knew I had to do a, a story on this. It goes on. I feel some guilt for the lengths I've gone to see what is happening, and I had no plan for what I would do what, what, if my suspicions were confirmed. Dude, don't feel guilty. Okay, she's the one that's cheating. You need this evidence here to confirm what's going on. That way then when you obviously confront her on this, you got all the proof right there. Now, I don't know how this stuff is going to hold up in court if you try if you move for a divorce, which quite frankly, I would do at this point because as the saying goes, once a cheater, always a cheater. He says, we have children and have recently moved to a new city together, which is meant to be more than enough excitement for one year. This is probably why the guy's staying in the marriage, because of the kids. Well, a lot of guys do this, or and women too. They stay in the, a bad marriage because they don't want to break up the family, but it's far better to split up when both the parents are unhappy, and that way the kids can grow up in an environment where the hopefully at least one of the parents is happy and normal. Because staying in the marriage just for the kids and being unhappy, that's going to rub off on the kids. The kids are going to notice this, and they're not going to be happy. They're going to be walking on eggshells, and eventually in life, they'll end up being the same way with their future families. I've seen it done multiple times. It's better just to break up. But some people have to go through so much pain and embarrassment and heartache before they finally realize these things. He says, uh, I have no idea what to do next. Will she agree to meet with, with the fake sleaze if I push? Did I go too far to find out the truth? Is it just a harmless ego boost that won't go further? Or is my marriage essentially over? No, you did not go far. You did what you had to do. She pushed you into this position. You knew she was doing this. Quite honestly, this guy should have ended with her a while ago, but he didn't, and she saw weakness. And when women see weakness in men, they lose respect for them and push further. And that's what's going on here. But I got to seriously wonder, she's, like I said before, hooking up with some other dude at this point. But who knows? Now he's going to provide some updates here. He says, the first update... Thank you for all for the thank you all for the comments. Mostly V is helpful. V is obviously code for someone that assisted him. I confronted her this afternoon. She lied and then faced uh, faced with evidence. He says I didn't reveal the fake AC scenario. She broke down. 
The commoners were right. I've seen enough. Further monitoring would have only brought more turmoil. I don't have the will for counseling. This has been awful betrayal, and I can only cringe at the actions I didn't see. It's over. Kids are a priority right now. Wish me luck. Best wishes to all. So it sounds like he's going to move, finally move forward with splitting up with her. And yeah, the kids are a priority because you got to take care of them. But he, got, he has to take care of himself as well. He counts as well, you know. But she's been cheating on him. And would have kept doing it, like I said, would have continued escalating. And the second update, he says, he says, this is hard to write. But yes, it was physical. Very physical with multiple men. Aha. So, that, so I, I, fig, I figured that was the case. She wasn't just talking to him, because eventually just talking would get boring. So then she had to meet up with him. This sucks. What this poor guy. Over a sustained period of time, as, as recently as two weeks ago, she tells me it is over. Well, of course she says that. That she wasn't sure if she wanted to know, to, wanted me to, that, <laughs> I can't talk this morning. That she wasn't sure if she wanted me, wanted me, but now she is sure. It was mostly just, you know what, I'm speaking in code here. You can figure out the word, S-E-X. But with the most recent affair, there were feelings. It has been a torturous few days, and there and there is... He wrote this pretty badly. There is, I know, worse to come. Thank you for your comments. Divorce is inevitable now, but she is currently refusing to accept. She's hooked up with multiple dudes and has been cheating, and this guy wants to get a divorce, but now she's refusing to accept the divorce. What a load of crap. Uh-uh. This guy gave her plenty of uh, opportunities to, to uh, cut this BS out. And she didn't. So, uh-uh. And I would have cut her off for the first time like that. Because, again, once a cheater, always a cheater. He says, uh, she's telling me that she finally told me everything and how it will never happen again. How she's been depressed and needs professional help. Okay, well, she can go and get professional help, but they're done. End of story. She blew it, you know. And I don't care if it was one time with one dude or multiple times, Okay. And the question is, certainly, is how long has this been going on? How many, many other dudes were going on before, he, obviously, it was noticeable with her on her phone all the time? He says, uh, predictable, I suppose. Sadly, disastrously, I can never, ever trust her again. There can be no going back. Uh, it was uh, 5 a.m. this morning, confronting the current squeeze. A married man with a child. So, horrifically, unintentionally, there are two houses in ruins today. A very unhappy ending indeed. So, the dude that was cheating with her, he got caught as well. It's a big, giant mess. And this is so unfortunate. I mean, at the end of the day, in my opinion, if, you, if you're at a point that you're that unhappy and things have gone that bad that you got to cheat, move on. Break up with the guy and move on. Whether you are just a simple, exclusive relationship or you're in a marriage. Because it's not fair to the other person. You're going to cause all sorts of damage. But then again, you're talking about emotions here. And when it comes to emotions and logic, they usually don't mix together very well. Now, here are a few comments that I got from the comment section. Because I always like to read comments. Uh, one guy says, listen to people that have been through this. At minimum, she is emotionally cheating, but the, but at the level you are describing, there's no way that it hasn't crossed into the physical. If you don't address it now, it'll only get worse. It's going to be hard, but in a few years, you'll be glad you did. Good luck to you. And this is obviously responding to his first post before he actually found out that she was physically cheating. And like I suspected, and this guy suspected, it isn't just flirting and talking on Instagram. It is actual physical relationship. Uh, another guy said, you did what needed to be done, but your job isn't over yet. You need to see how far she's been going with these guys. Set up a meeting to hook up with her and see if it's been physical. If she's been in physical contact with them, keep flirting with her and then tell her you would love to meet up. If she says yes, pick a time and place. Tell, tell her you'll meet her there. Make an excuse for her for you to leave her. Leave before her. Sit in your car and when you see her come, let her get in and wait. Message her saying you'll be there in a few minutes. Just park in the car. Then walk in and bust her. I know, a whole sting operation, this whole secret undercover stuff, but it had to be done. Now, again, that guy wrote this before the guy came to the final conclusion, but like I said, it's over, and there's no going back, because once the trust is gone, that is it. Now, the big lessons in this story, guys, in no particular order, as I mentioned before, <clears throat> once a cheater, always a cheater. I know it's cliche, but it really is the truth. It's been the experience of my 43 years on this planet, from all the stories that I've done, read, people I've known, things I've experienced myself, and it's best to just simply move on. You don't need that. Another the area is, is that, uh, I even took notes here, is about the phone. All the secrets of the world is on somebody's phone. So, you know, you don't want to be the person that has to go snooping, but unfortunately things get pretty bad. 
you got it. And this guy did, and, and he did observe early on. She was deleting things and so on and so forth, you know. And somebody's always glued to their phone all the time, and they, they can't let it go, and they hide it so you can't get into it, and they take it with them to the bathrooms and all that stuff. Obviously, something's going on. Unless they're constantly doing research projects for something and they're obsessed with work, something's up there, and you got to pay attention to that. And um, another thing, like I talked about before, is attention and validation. <clears throat> By and large, most women thrive on attention and validation. And once it's, it's like a drug to many, and it's like plants needing water and uh, sun. And they can't function without it. And it's infor- and these temptations nowadays, like social media, like Instagram and all that, where where these gals, these these wives, these women that that were probably once all right with a guy, hopefully, now they start posting on Instagram. They start getting attention from different dudes. Next thing you know, they start show- revealing more body parts and so forth at, at the beach, in the bikini, at the gym. Who knows? And it goes on. They get more and more followers, more and more attention. you got to pay attention to that. To the guys watching this, because it just escalates. And next thing you know, they're talking. So does this mean that everyone's going to do this? Not necessarily, but a lot do. And you got to be aware of this and pay attention. Take care of yourself. And the last one is also is you got to stand your ground. This guy, early on, he obviously didn't stand his ground with her and say, cut this BS out or we're done. And he wasn't strong enough about it because it just kept continuing and continuing and continuing. So, but anyhow, interesting story there. I think it was pretty cool. The guy goes literally undercover with a fake account to find out what's going on. So he had to do what he had to do. So anyway, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below and know what you think about this story. And guys, also, if you have any uh, crazy stories you'd like to share with me or have me co- cover in a future video, just email me. And I will certainly, if they work out, I will certainly cover them. Or if they're a, a story you found online, send the link and I'll check it out and go there. And um, that's it for today. And I will talk to you next time.